have a Harris's hawk, um, which is really a, a fun animal. It is a raptor. And if you're trying to work out what a raptor is, um, think about this. Uh, do you like leftovers? If you do, you're not going to be a raptor. The raptors like to eat their food fresh. If you were designing a bird to be able to kill its food, um, what tools would you actually provide it with? Well, first of all, you would provide it with some pretty significant talons. These talons are not only sharp, but the muscles in those talons are very, very strong. So if this bird were to really be spooked, uh, he could actually close his talons through my glove into my arm and that would not be good for my arm. In addition to which, um, you'd probably give him um, some pretty uh, uh, hooked beak. That, that hooked beak is going to be used to actually rip the, uh, rip the prey and then some pretty good eyesight. Do you know that raptors can actually see their prey from about a mile away? They can also uh, see the whiskers twitching on a mouse from a, about a, uh, a football field away. So really uh, an incredible bird. Now uh, at the Desert Museum, uh, the Harris's hawks are actually at the northernmost part of their their range. Uh, they range up from Central America all the way up to us and where food is plentiful they will hunt on their own. But in the desert where food is not all that available, uh, what they've done is they've developed a really unique approach to hunting. They're able to actually hunt as a family. The raptor world um, it's kind of interesting to work out which is the larger raptor. This here is a male raptor, but who is the larger? It turns, turns out to be the female raptor. So who's in charge? The female. So what's new? Now in the desert, in the, desert uh, the, the, the alpha female, one in charge of the family, is going to find a perch to enable her to survey the desert. Looking out over the desert, there's only one place to actually find that perch and that is on top of a saguaro. And the question then is, how does a Harris's hawk actually uh, land on top of a saguaro? Answer, very carefully. But actually what she'll do is she'll come up from just below the, the saguaro and will then literally glide onto, glide onto it so she doesn't in any way run the risk of having spines put through her, 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 her talons. Now <clears throat> she will survey the, the desert and if she finds prey uh, she will then summon her, the rest of the family uh, through a series of vocal vocalizations and often what she will do is she will actually uh, uh, place family members at one side of the bush and designate another to go to the other side of the bush and with their long legs they will actually head, <coughs> use that, the, the, the one bird to flush out the prey. Of course the prey runs straight into uh, an ambush and is taken down. The, these birds can take down uh, prey the size of a jackrabbit. <laughs>